Big Blue was all the way turned up after the Giants grabbed LSU receiver Malik Neighbors with the sixth overall pick. Giants superfan license plate guy was front and center at the draft in Detroit, and he's hopped on with us now to talk about the pick. Joe, what's going on, my man? How you feeling? Um, I'm still flying high, man. I love it. I love the pick. I think the Giants needed to add weapons, and they added a big one. Yeah, they did. And I got to tell you that you're some sort of royalty because ESPN kept cutting away to you before commercials. <laughs> like, you were Taylor Swift, my man. I absolutely love it. You... <laughs> All right. Uh... I mean, look, I... Uh, we have the same we have the same hairdresser, but that's about it. There we go. All right, uh, I was emceeing the draft day event at the stadium. I saw the fan response at the draft party at MetLife Stadium. What was it like in Detroit? Oh, uh, it was crazy. I mean, look, there's there's no secret out there that that the Giants were looking heavily towards a wide receiver, whether it was going to be a Donez or a Neighbors. You know, whatever the fan base wanted, either way, it was going to go. And, of course, then you have all the smoke screen about quarterbacks and this and that. And I do believe that the Giants were looking to trade up, but you just can't give away the farm and a million number ones yeah. for a quarterback, uh, you know, that you don't know is going to work out. So if you weren't going to get one of the top three, uh, I think the Giants did an unbelievable job in staying where they, where they were and picking the number one wide receiver, obviously, after Harrison Jr., so you've been to numerous drafts, and uh, you've seen all types of fan responses. Where can you compare this one to, like, in terms of fan excitement? Yeah, I think, I think the Giants fans were absolutely excited. I think overboard on it. Um, the Giants knew what they needed, and they went and got it. Uh, you know, it's very difficult. You pick one player, you know, obviously the fan base isn't going to like you know, oh, we should have went with this player. You're never going to make everybody happy. But I think the overall reaction, you had to have 80 to 85 percent of the fan base, fan base absolutely loved this pick. The Giants did, did well here. They did a great job, especially the guy to come out of LSU with the numbers that he had and put up in the SEC. Folks are calling this guy OBJ 2.0. So after seeing what he did at LSU, do you get OBJ vibes from him? A hundred percent. Ten years later to the day, baby, OBJ ten years ago, and now Malik Neighbors. I think Malik Neighbors is finally going to give the Giants another 1,000-yard receiver, which we haven't had since OBJ. All right, now that they go into the second round, what position or who would you like to see the Giants grab next? I mean, uh, there's so many guys that are going to be left out there. I'm, I'm looking at Kool-Aid. Maybe could wind up being on the Giants. I would love that. But uh, I, I think the Giants are going to obviously grab some kind of a cornerback. Um, I think maybe they'll they'll add a, another lineman, and they're going to add a DT. Um, and and after that, who knows what they're going to do. But I think they've, they've hit a home run where they needed to, and everything else now will be icing on the cake. And, you know, maybe we can even find a starter out of the next day, too. Yeah, I would love that Kool-Aid McKinstry pick out of Alabama. Have a CB2 on the opposite side of Tay Banks. You look at that young secondary and how they it just be a straight-up no-fly zone between these two guys. Uh, you do a lot with not only the fan base, but the players as well and the foundations and the charity. You've got the Dexter Lawrence celebrity softball game coming up May 18th. Plug it, Joe. Tell the people where they can get tickets and, uh, and uh, plug the event. Yeah, I really appreciate that. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. You know, we ran the Landing Collins Celebrity Softball Game for three years, raising over $100,000. Dex, Dex and I brought it back. Um, it's going to be held at Clover Stadium in Pomona, New York on May 18th. We have over, right now, we have over 75 former players coming from, you know, Jacobs and Manning and Manningham and Tuck and OC. I mean, I could go on forever. And these guys are, are taking on the current Giants, Dexter Lawrence of the current Giants, in a game of dodgeball, home run derby, and a game of softball. Mm -hmm. And it's all going to take place at Clover Stadium in Rockland County, New York, on May 18th. Gates open at 2.30, baby. Get your tickets at sexydexygame.com. He's being really humble as well because he's got a great MC uh, that's going to be on the mic as well. But, hey, I love how humble you are, my man. Thanks for hopping on with us. Hey, I love it, man. Let's go. And let's go day two, Giants.